I love the way that feels. I love the way it feels. I love the way it sounds. Well, another episode of Jay Leno's Garage. We have another Ring Brothers special here. Uh, this is a heavily modified, to say the least, 48 Cadillac. Uh, you know the Ring Brothers, Wilbur and Orville. They've been here many, many times. I'll call Jim and Mike, really. I call them Wilbur and Orville because they're kind of like the Wright Brothers, but, you know, but, well, you get it. Anyway, you'll meet them in a second. But uh, this is a huge hit at SEMA. It's a 1948 Cadillac that is... Uh, Resto modded to the max. We'll put it up on the lift later, and you'll see uh, the difference between the Ring Brothers and a lot of the other guys is just the build quality. You know, a lot of people don't want their stuff up in the air so you can see what it's like underneath. But that's what's good about these guys. I've got no secrets. Uh, everything is just done to the highest order, and uh, the craftsmanship, the workmanship is unbelievable. Uh, let's meet them again. Jim, Mike, come on in, you guys. Good to see Thanks you again. Thanks for having us again, Jay. Yeah, God, you Thanks, guys are Jay. banging these out like mass production now. <laughs> yeah. It's well, unbelievable. Got... This one, uh, the people just went crazy at SEMA for this, didn't they? What, what awards did you win with this? And you won a bunch of stuff, didn't you? It was in the top 10 Battle of the Builders. Right. Um, and also we won the gold award with uh, uh, good guys. So oh, cool. pretty well. Yeah, okay. So we start with a 48 Cadillac, which is, uh, that was the last year of the Horseshoe Dash, I think, wasn't it? Or was That's it correct. Okay, yeah. 48. Yeah, but that was the first, was that the first? Actually, I think 49 had the horseshoe, right? Or was there two years with the horseshoe, Dad? Uh, I know 49 had it. Did 49 have it? I couldn't remember. I thought I thought maybe, 48 was the last year. Maybe it is the, the Yeah, or maybe 47 right. was the last year. But that was, I think, the first year of the overhead valve and the whole deal. But but this bears no relation to any of that, does it? No, no we don't. I, when you're talking, Jay, about that, I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> the oldest car we had ever worked on before this was like, a 69. Yeah, yeah, okay. So, um, you know, Wes Rydell uh, and his wife Vivian uh, Rydell Chevrolet, sure. he, he brought us uh, two, a 2015 uh, ATSV and a 2016 brand new uh, ATSV. And that's and, a Cadillac. Correct. Right. Uh, which was last year, which were current model cars. And then he brought us two 48 Cadillacs to, to basically build one car. You know, Wes says it's going to be a lot easier on you guys for me to bring you two of each than just one of each. For, right. And he, he really was right about that because we took the first ATSV, basically cut everything off it, the firewall and the floor pan, <clears throat> and then literally built this 48 around that car, stretching the wheels 16 inches forward to fit the 48. Um, when all of the fab work was done, it was really nice because then we pulled in the brand new ATSV yeah. and just converted all the components from that car to this car. Were those brand new Cadillacs? One of them was brand new. So brand new, just chopped yeah. up a brand just new. Just actually even waited to get it. Yeah. That's why we started with the 15, because we couldn't, the 16s weren't even out yet. Wow. Okay. Mm. All right. But this is all steel, correct? Uh, no? The, the doors, the fenders, the roof, but the quarters are carbon, the hood's oh, carbon, the deck's okay. carbon, and the okay. trim and the bumpers. Okay. Now, why the six-cylinder rather than the V8. You guys seem always been sort of V8 guys. Why the six this time? Was that his idea? Was it your idea? What? You know, basically he wanted everything in the V in this car. Yeah. And uh, I can't wait for you to drive the car because the car's got plenty of power. It yeah, runs yeah. hard. But mainly because the CTSV, the track width was too wide to start with. We didn't want to have to narrow up what GM had come up with as far as track width. Right. And the ATS was the platform that Wes had actually figured out would be our best option because then we didn't have to narrow track width. So with that being said, you can't get the V8 in the ATS. Oh, okay. So the yeah. only thing you can get is the V6. Right. And the layout of the ATS-V, it actually worked really well in this car. You know, proportionate wise, you're sitting in the right spot in this car. The steering wheel's in the right spot. Right. So uh, really, the platform, the way the car sits is an ATS-V from the center line of the, st of the steering wheel to the uh, the back wheel hasn't changed. Yeah. The only thing that we changed was the, the in front of the wheels, you know, we pushed the, uh, the struts forward right. 16 inches to okay. line up with the, the 48. Now, the nightmare for most builders, and I know just doing like, Bernard's got his sidecar motorcycle, and we had a, a new Yamaha engine in there, and just the ECU, I mean, the stoplight is not, it goes through, I mean, uh, just, just the wiring, the electronics, I mean, uh, a modern Cadillac has miles of wire and uh, I mean how was was that you know when you start with something from the late 60s pretty straightforward you get a wiring harness you can make one mm -hmm, but you right. can't 
make not your own wiring stuff. harness for this, can you? Even to the ohms, you can tell them about. Yeah, we, we actually, we used the entire harness out of the car. Right. Um, obviously, we had to extend the tail light harnesses and a few harnesses in the back. For the most part, everything is 100% General Motors. Now, we didn't put the curtain airbags in this car. Right. And we had a, we didn't want the light on in the dash, so we basically set them airbags off in a dumpster, and we figured out the ohm rating of them, so we put uh, resistors in the car, so the car thinks them curtain bags are there, although they're not. Okay. Um, so we cheated the thing to think that. But everything else, even up to the rain sensors in the windshield, this car has it, and it We works. put it all back yeah. in. Because I know on Bernard's motorcycle, we had to lengthen the harness just a little bit to reach the light. And <coughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Everything shut down, right. but just as much, I mean. Because it's, it's all in milliamps, you're right. Yeah. And if you don't do it correctly, it'll, yeah. the computer will know it. I mean, was that a learn-as-you-go process, or did you did you well, sort of have a handle on that? We had you great people from General Motors, yeah. you know, with Wes's uh, connections. Wes's connections. We had the right people that knew what had to take place. Oh man, well let's open the hood and see what's under there exactly. Okay. <laughs> that looks like a Cadillac. Even down to the hood insulation and the way it sits on the cowl seal of the old, we, we wanted everything to work. It took, takes the air right this out. This is factory, correct? No, it is not. No, oh, it is not. To make it look factory. Boy, nice job, guy. You fooled me. I was just trying to show what I know. I don't know anything. <laughs> I think, well, that's factory piece. Beautiful welding. I mean, God. That's everything nice. forward here you see that appears to be factory. This is all panels that we made out of aluminum that we textured to make it look like plastic. You know, we really tried to follow the theme of, of an OEM car more right. so than a hot rod. So these so. are aluminum that you try to make look like plastic. plastic. That's yeah. hilarious. Yeah. That's yeah. hilarious. Yeah. Even okay. the shock tower, so instead of cutting the old ones off, we actually bought new ones from GM because originally they're way back in here. So, yeah, that's so right. Yeah. By moving yeah. them from here to here, that meant all the electronics, the fuse box, everything had to go behind. So there was some work through here. And but, we had to uh, make the air box fit around that because originally they're Obviously, the airbox sits in front of okay. the strut tower. And is that a working scoop? Oh, there yeah, it's the original one out of the ATS. Oh, so it gets the heat yeah, out. Yeah, it gets it out. Right. And everything okay. has to pass through it. Even the, if you look, you see the wheel liners here. Yeah. And Cadillac on the wheel liners have an insert. It's because the intercoolers are up front. They actually go through the wheel liner. We left the wheel liners in them, used the factory fi uh, fiber wheel liners and the felt, yeah. The felt, and it actually the air goes through them like on the ATS. The stock ATS brakes? Yes. Okay. The headlights are actually kind of interesting. We actually took these, the V headlights out of the other car, completely took them apart, then machined round ones, and then put all that stuff in a round headlight. Literally, this is headlight from here to here with nothing but little they, processors, and you can imagine what's in them new headlights. Of and the they new turn cars. with the car, so we had to make these round ones turn. So with they're the car. servo. Oh, okay. So no replacing a bulb when no, that goes. No, this one. no, not. Wow. So these. Oh, they, no. They, on the Cadillac, do they turn with the car as well? They do. Okay. On the, on the ATS. Okay. Wow. Okay. We tried to make it look factory, not a hot rod. No, know. it does look factory. Yeah, we can shut the hood again. Let's move down. Obviously, all the. I mean, I see the shape. Is it? Is it chopped at all? Did you take it? It's is. wedge cut and okay. uh, the roof's flattened out too. Okay, okay. We started at actually nothing at this point, and by the time we got to the end of the hood, it was two inches. Okay, so. wow. So this is all carbon fiber here yeah, as well. All the trim. Yeah, the accents are very nice. Even we had we were lucky enough to get Gentex Corporation who builds all the OE mirrors. Yeah. They wanted a project, so they came and made this mirror with this. Uh, Monitor. So this got the latest in. I think they're coming out this year. This car had. We're, it we're talking here. That Correct. is the yeah. And that's the antenna. Uh, obviously the right. OnStar antenna, but it also uh, incorporates the camera in the back, right. which is the rear view mirror. There's no mirror there. It's like a, a TV monitor. Oh, I see. Uh, pretty okay. interesting. Okay. And they also made the outside mirrors, um, and they also have our logo flash when you blink, and they the they work. Turn indicator. And they right. work just like the modern mirror. Okay. So you just get that ring, brother. Did you, yeah. <laughs> your faces come up? In case you didn't this? know who built it. Did or your so. faces <laughs> come up and do this and yeah. go like this and all that kind of, yeah, like it's wrestling. And yeah. You do, you know, a little bit of that. Yeah, yeah. Well, well modesty is a virtue. That's okay. Uh, is this original? No, this is added. It is added. They right. originally have a drip rail and they're funky and they come around. So yeah, right. it, it is. And this is a, 
That is, a, that is a Dodge Viper windshield that we cut down. We actually found that it would had the right shape for the body right. out of the section of it. So it took three of them, <laughs> but we got it. Well, let's come around the back of the car here. And this is where it's most uh, visible as a uh, 48 Cadillac. But, well, you've sort of taken the fin out of it. It was, it was a bit more exactly. of a fin. They're definitely a lot taller. Yeah, yeah a lot taller. Uh, these are new, that is nice. And you've got a carbon fiber bumper. Uh, now, as I remember, these used to have, you used to move the tail light and, and you get to the... Uh, yeah, that still does that. That's, oh, it uh, does? That's actually... Uh, oh, good day, Mr. Bum. <laughs> <laughs> but it's well, got the new, the new style. No, it's got, the, it's got the new it. style. Yeah. That's fantastic. Yeah. And well, even the lights are machined. We made all the lights themselves. We had to actually close. cheat the car to think it had the original lights in, so we took the the V lights apart, took the uh, the little circuit boards out of them, and then wired our new lights, which we built completely with the LED boards, right. into them. So the car thinks the lights are still there, but oh, again, okay. one of them wiring things. So you can put this down, and they're just, yeah. cool. Well, what, what kind of trunk you got in there? The trunk actually looks like pretty factory, okay. you know? It uses uh, Have you got a spare under there? No, it's, it's got, got the compressor, compressor that the V <laughs> got the compressor. <laughs> That's all they had in the new V. That's uh, all they had. You know, those don't work. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Especially I when there's a I cut. I blew two tires the way. other day, and you always, because with the big wheels, you always blow the sidewall. It exactly. splits, and you're not going to get home with that. But well, we should put easy. a cell phone in there. That'd work huh? better, wouldn't yeah, it? Yeah, put a cell phone <laughs> in there. <laughs> yeah. Don't yeah. need as much room yeah. there. Wow. But even all the latches to all the rubber that was in the V is what we used. Just So every latch, every, yeah, you can... Is that a bigger than stock Cadillac emblem? That's, a, that's the V one. Oh, it's okay. You can, can I it? pick oh. it up and there, there you go. go. Okay, this piece here. That we use the backup light again from the, the new V. Now, um, do you have a third? Where's your stuff? Third? <laughs> we did not put he, it he in. He caught us. <laughs> that's, uh, you caught us. He's on stuff. But you don't need it because it's 1948. That's yeah. right. Yeah. You know, it's yeah. something we probably should have put in somewhere, but uh, we didn't. And that's uh, actually, that's the story when we pulled it out of the garage to take it to SEMA. Yeah. OnStar called the owner in Arizona and told him that it's, he had a third brake light out. So he called me, he said, Jim, you got a third brake light out. And I goes, how, how would you know? And he says, OnStar called me. I said, well, there ain't one in it. So we you had know, to cheat that too. I find if you don't pay the OnStar bill, <laughs> yeah. they don't call you. That's true. It's fabulous. Yeah, that's a good you just idea. Go, you know, I'm not paying. Okay, fine. <laughs> Car can be on fire. <laughs> they won't call you. You know, so it's fantastic. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm always a little leery. Those things always make me nervous, you know? You know, they know, oh, we, they know, you, know too you, much. you hit a tree and you take off, OnStar calls the cops. Yeah. Hey! <laughs> hey! <laughs> now, Madam V, now, I, I remember my Cadillac history. There was a Madam X. That's correct. What was that, a 29 or 1930, I think it was? Yeah. Like he said, you know your history, I don't. Okay. If Wes was here, he's, he's pretty good. Okay. Madam V's uh, after his wife Vivian, so okay. that's what this car had to be named, Madam V. And of course, the interior is pretty much stock Cadillac. It okay. is. Um, you know, funny thing, this 1948 rear shelf here, right. we took the uh, 2016 V shelf, and it literally laid in this 48 like it was made for it, except for the two trims of the corner on both sides. But that is a, the same width as a 16V. It's just crazy how this car... You know, it's it, funny. When I was doing my 55 Buick 10 or 15 years ago, we had the whole Buick apart. And the GM guys walked through and said, oh, you know, we're still using this. I really? Mean, some, some, whatever, I, some suspension piece. And it was like, it's been amortized for the last 60 years. Uh, That's just smart, to keep yeah. costs down, you know? So it's pretty cool. Now. You, you tell me this thing is even more incredible underneath, is that correct? It, it's pretty it, it cool. really is. Okay, well that's why. We always put the Ring Brothers stuff up on the lift so you can see the difference between their work and a lot of the other folks that are out there. Come on, let's put this up on the lift and see how it looks. And then we'll take it for a drive and then we'll show you the whole interior while we're driving the car. Come on, let's bring it over there. All right, underneath here, you'd never guess it was a 48 Cadillac because it's not a 48 Cadillac underneath. Not too much of okay. it. Okay. Now, let's see, this is all pretty much stock. So Correct. 2016 ATSV. Yeah, ATSV. Uh, okay. The cradle here, you know, because we moved the shock towers forward, um, we wanted the motor to sit in its stock location in the V, but we needed the suspension to go 16 inches forward. So All we right. actually bought two cradles from General Motors, 
and mated them together so we could put the suspension forward and leave the engine to the back. All right, now for the idiots in the comment section that say, <laughs> yeah. well, you just put a Cadillac body on it, you took the old body off the Cadillac. Bodies don't come off. They, no. they, this is not a chassis Correct. type automobile like a, like a 48 Cadillac, which is body on chassis. Correct. There is no chassis to this, right? It's right. all this unibody stuff, and you've got to figure out how to put it together. How to mate it to the 48. Right, exactly. Yeah, because you're right, a 48 has a frame under it. Right. This one doesn't. Right. So. All right let's... We've heard that term, oh, you just put a body over a new car. Yeah, just I like that. <laughs> you just take the one off and you put the other one on. Everybody <laughs> thinks everybody else's job is easy. That's my favorite thing. People just think that, you know. But uh, obviously, you've got the durability and the reliability of a modern Cadillac in, in a in a forty-eight. And of course, brakes and everything are all stock. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. All the ABS works. All the traction control works. It's uh, everything that's in that sixteen works. You know, it's amazing what General Motors thought of is even stuff like, you know, all of the felt pads where the rocks used to hit, you know, yeah. and it just quiets everything down, you know, there's no oh, ticking. Okay. And sure, sure. Even the wheel liners in the back and in the front are felt and they, uh, we put them back in this car. You know, I saw something dripping back here and I thought, uh oh, because yeah. I'm thinking 48 Cadillac, it's the gas <laughs> yeah. got a weep hole, but this is... Stock exhaust, just, just water. Yeah, that's 100 percent stock exhaust, and GM puts that little weep hole in there to get rid of the water. Right. Uh, now most people don't know. Let me see. A, a gallon of gas displaces what? About a quart of water? So I can't. Remember. It's I, quite a bit. It's yeah. quite a bit of water. You ever notice when you start your car up when, a, when it's cold, you'll see water coming out the tailpipe. This is why you don't want to start a car, run it for five minutes, and shut it off because then you just you're just putting more and more water in your exhaust system. And with stainless steel. I guess it doesn't matter that much, right. but if you have an old steel exhaust system, that's what causes them to rot. So you always want to run your car, minimum 20 minutes or so, just get mm -hmm. everything hot Warm enough so, so you just literally burn off the water, you know, but yeah. here it is just dripping away, and it's, a, it's supposed to do that. Someone write in, hey, you, hey, ring brother, your Cadillac's <laughs> leaking. You know, you just, We've you, never had that. No, you always get people to complain <laughs> yeah. about that. I mean, to me, the real genius is getting this electronics to work because just a few little things that we fooled with. It just drives you, and nothing works, you know, if you add another three inches to, uh, to, to reach the tail light, the whole car shuts down. Yeah. I mean, it's crazy. It's looking for everything it's been married to. Right, 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 okay. So it's really not that exciting to look at underneath other than that you're looking at such an old car with, right. with every heat shield back in it, um, every clip the way GM did it. And of course, it's emission compliant and all yeah, that, yeah. you know, so. What do you think? You want to take it for a drive? Yeah, let's take it for a drive. Let's see how it goes. Cool. Okay. Great. So, so the owner wants to put a 49 grill on it and a few other things. Why yeah. not do that from the get-go? Well, he's, he's really a nice guy. He was like, you know, I want you guys to build it the way you want it. And then he says, I'm going to do it the way I want it. <laughs> but I mean... <laughs> I mean, that's just the kind of guy Wes is. He's just no, no, awesome great guy. guy. I don't mean it yeah. that way, but I'm just okay. You do it the way you want. Okay, forget that. No, yeah. that, it's yeah. like paint it the color you want. I not spend it my color. I, I mean, I, I, it, it seems kind of odd. It's pretty fun, isn't it? See, how many speeds is this? It's an eight speed. Oh, an eight speed is it? Oh, it is an eight speed. Look at that. Harley Earl would love this. Yeah. The ultimate 48. Can you imagine bringing something like back in time with this, what General Motors did with that same body? They flipped yeah, yeah. out at them auto shows. Yeah. The technology. You know, it's funny though, but cars have always been fast. They just couldn't stop or go around corners. Correct. But you always had the power. I mean, you know, that V8 and 48, that was, in fact, the 1948 Cadillac was the best car in the world. The 48? Well, think about it. Rolls-Royce, which was supposedly the best car in the world, had a six-cylinder with a manual shift transmission and roll-up windows. Cadillac had a V8, hydraulic lifters, air conditioning, power steering, power windows, sleek styling. I mean, it was... it was so far ahead of the rest of the world. What kind of money was one of them cars then? Wow. Well, it was less than a Rolls-Royce. 
It was probably around uh, five thousand dollars, something like that. That was a pile of money. That was a pile of money. You figure Oldsmobiles and whatnot were twenty two hundred, twenty something like that. So yeah, that's about right. Back in that day, teachers probably made about forty five dollars a week, fifty dollars a week, something like that. Yeah, yeah. When I was a kid and I worked at McDonald's. The slogan was, we're a family of four, can have lunch for under a dollar. Hamburgers are 15 cents a piece. So 15 four cents? Yeah, so four hamburgers were 60 cents. Wow. Then you could get fries and a couple of Cokes. It's funny when you think about it because 200 miles an hour now is what 100 miles an hour was when I was a kid. You know, when I was a kid, most cars, you know, you get your lunch, take your dad's car to go... 80, 81, yeah. 82, and the needle's going like yeah. this, it's going crazy, you know, it, yeah. You know, I think we all did that. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, it's, uh, I love the way that feels. I love the way it feels, I love the way it sounds. That was fun. Suddenly it's 1948, Truman for president, yeah! <laughs> Let's take it up on the freeway. I know what it's going to drive like. It's going to drive like a Cadillac. But the real fun part is watching other people's reactions to the car. Come on, we'll take it up on the freeway. Plus, you got to understand also where this styling comes from. Those little tail lights with the fins, you know, and the huge bumper. That was supposed to be mimicking the jets. You know, it was the jet age, the late, the late 40s, you know, so that's what they were going for, you know, the, the fighter plane look and all of that stuff. Remember Buick had the vents on the side, the vento ports and all of that? I mean, that was, it was mimicking the exhaust of a, you know, a Mustang or a P-51, you know. But there's so many things you can't do anymore. You couldn't have a filler neck under a light like that on the, because it's too accessible. Do a rear end hit, you know. Exactly. It, you know, now the fuel tank got electronics on top of a fuel door. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's right. It's got to be buried in the center of the car somewhere. How different is the weight distribution to the original car, Cadillac? Well, we moved the, we we did move the uh, wheels forward 16 inches, okay. so it actually did help the car quite right. a bit in a balance situation, but. It's 49.50. I mean, it's real close. It's yeah, that's pretty good. Being 50.50. I think moving them wheels forward did help the ride of this car in comparison to the original yeah. B. I and mean, you forget you're in a 48 Cadillac with it. <laughs> this is one of these debates people have forever. You know, it's still a 48 Cadillac. Is there anything 48 about it? Well, it still looks like a 48 Cadillac and it drives like a Martin Cadillac. I mean, exactly like one because it is. I mean, suspension, handling. You could go cross country, go anywhere in this car. I mean, it's just a beautiful job. It's just amazingly done. And you know, everybody has their own opinion. Put yours down, I'd, li I'd like to hear what you think. I mean, I'm very impressed by it. If it was me, I would like to keep an original 48 Cadillac dash just so I get some feel. Because inside, it looks like a modern in Cadillac. But that's just me. But that's the great thing about the Ring Brothers. They'll, they'll build whatever you want, you know? <laughs> They're like a high-priced escort. Whatever you want, they're doing it, you know? So. <laughs> Thanks, Thanks, guys. Jay. Thanks, guys. That's not a good analogy at all. No, 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 no. But they do do beautiful. I want to see it again after you do the changes. Yep. Yeah, we'll get you some pictures after you do the changes. We'll make it look a little more like a 48, 49. A little, little look more like a 48. See you guys next week. Bye-bye. Mm-hmm. <laughs>